Good morning, all, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Tuesday, the third week in Advent. I'm glad you're here today, and our morning prayer begins on page 156. Let's join together. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word, shield us from harm, and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son came to visit us in great humility that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lo, he comes with clouds descending, once for favored sinners slain. Thousand, thousand saints attending, swell the triumph of his train. Alleluia, alleluia. God appears on earth to reign. Every eye shall now behold him, robed in dreadful majesty. Those who set it naught and sold him, pierced and nailed him to the tree, weeping, wailing, deeply wailing, shall the true Messiah see. Now redemption long expected, see in solemn pomp this appear, all his saints by man rejected now shall meet him in the air. Alleluia, alleluia. See the day of God appear. Yea, amen, let all adore thee, high on thine eternal throne. Savior, take the power and glory, claim the kingdom for thine own. O come quickly, O come quickly, alleluia. Come, Lord, come. A reading from Psalm 19. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world. God has made a home in heaven for the sun, it bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like an athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at the end of the heavens and follows the, its course to the other end. Now nothing can hide from its heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture today, Genesis chapter 49. The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from his descendants, until the coming of the one to whom it belongs, the one whom all nations will honor. Behold, God has come to save me. I will trust in him. I will not be afraid. Yahweh Elohim is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. In that wonderful day you will sing Yahweh. Thank you. Praise his name. Tell the nations what he has done. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praise to Yahweh, for he has done wonderful things. Let this be known throughout the world. Let all the people of Jerusalem shout and sing with joy. For great is he who lives among you, the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. 
Bring us to bear fruit that befits repentance and make us ready for your kingdom, which is near. Prepare a way in our hearts for serving, for your saving word, and let his glory be revealed in us. Protect us with tender love for your spirit and bring us the mercy of your Son who is coming among us. Bring low the mountains of your peak pride and raise up the valleys of our weakness. Break down the walls of hatred among nations and peoples and make smooth the pathways that lead to peace. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let your radiant beauty shine forth in our hearts, Lord God. Thus shall the darkness of our night pass, and your Son's coming be revealed in our words, in our works, and in our eternal hope. This we ask in your compassion and love. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld his glory. The glory of the Father is only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the glory of, of the Lord order our steps and his ways, and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My friends, my brothers, my sisters, thank you so much for joining with me this day in prayer. I pray for you that today God touches you and blesses you, and you'll be a blessing to those around you. Amen.